Hello everyone, Neil here from Merchant Former, and in this video we're going to go over a massive update that we just released for the single upload interface that's going to allow you to upload your designs across the internet. So we made two big updates in this release. One is going to be for Teespring, and two, we added a brand new print partner here. So let's hop into it. I'm on the computer, you can see my screen. This is the single upload interface. I've uploaded a CSV table of one design. Now typically if you're going to be doing this, you're going to have you know, 10, 20, 30, 100 designs in your CSV file. And we're going to upload all of those to other marketplaces with the click of a button instead of sitting there and doing it manually. So the first update that we released is under services and you go to Teespring. We added this box right here, the add products to existing URL. So let me go ahead and bring over a Teespring window here. Now this is a test account, you see there's only $22 in it. I use this for testing the SUI. Now let's say this uh, shirt right here, Beach Please I'm on my honeymoon, you see it's got two products. It's got a t-shirt and it's got a hoodie. But let's say that we wanted to add more products to this listing. Instead of doing that manually, You'd simply come up to the top and copy the URL, and then inside of uh, this SUI here, the single upload interface, we will want to change this URL. So if we want to add products to existing URL, we would simply post that, paste that in there and pick the different products we want. For example, let's say that we wanted to add a classic tank top to this listing. We could come down here, pick the colors we want. I'm going to leave the price as default, and then we could head over and upload it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click upload for Teespring. We will uh, give this one second to run, and I will show you at the very end what the Teespring URL looks like when it's live on the site. So let's just give it a few here, and we'll, then we'll take a look. All right, so you see that it has been uploaded. Um, you can click on this link, which I'm going to do, and bring it over here. Now you see the old products we had. We have the t-shirt, we have the hoodie, and you have the addition of the new product that we added in the single upload interface. So this is really helpful for if they release new listings or new products that you can add to existing listings that you are already selling without doing any of this manually. Now the second big update that we pushed to the single upload interface, you may have noticed it, we added Printify. Okay, so Printify is a service much like Printful where it's going to be a print-on-demand partner that integrates with services such as Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and a few others. Now there's some serious advantages to taking a look at Printify. The big one is that they offer multiple print partners inside of your Printify account. So each print partner is going to offer different base prices, different shipping, and you can go in and take a look. So let me bring over a, uh, I'm gonna bring over a tab here. This is a Printify account that I use for testing. Now to show you how this works, I'm just going to pick a random, a random product here. This is the Men's Cotton Crew T. And what I mean by different print partners is if you scroll down here, we can choose print providers, okay? Each one of these has a ranking. It shows you what the base price starts at, what the shipping is, how many sizes they offer. And you'll notice that this print partner right here starts at a higher price, has higher shipping, but they offer a lot more sizes than say Monster Digital or DTG to go. Each print partner is going to have a, a average production time, you know, printing areas, different colors. So you'll want to come in here and take a look for the products that you want to upload and connect to your stores, such as Etsy or eBay, before you set up the single upload interface. So each different product is going to have different print providers. That's really helpful for optimizing your business here. So let's go back inside of the single upload interface and go to services and select Printify. I'm going to show you how this works. Now I've already gone ahead and picked a product, otherwise you would see a massive list of products here and all you have to do is pick choose on the one you want. So I've gone ahead and selected Women's The Boyfriend T3900. Now here are those different print providers for this specific shirt. There's the Print Bar, Monster Digital, and DHD to go. You want to take a look on Printify decide which one you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and pick Monster Digital. 
And the second thing you have to do here is enter in the store name that you've connected inside of your Printify account. So if I just bring back the Printify account here, the store names are going to be in the upper right hand corner. Say, so I have a few stores here I've been testing, playing around. My new store, XXX, my new store. This is the one Grand Canyon Designs and then Hello World Store. So these are different stores I've set up within my account. You want to take the name. So as an example, we're going to use this one, Grand Canyon Designs, and type it exactly as it shows up in Printify in the store name column. After that, it is going to be the exact same as setting up the other services. We're simply going to take the options and map them to the CSV file we have here. So for the, do we want to print on the front side? Yes, we do. What do we want to print? The image path. I don't want to print on the back side, so I'm going to leave it blank. Come down here. You know, we can check all, uncheck all. I'm going to pick a few colors here. We're going to go preview color. This is going to be the color of the main mock-up that gets pushed to your store. In this case, this is an Etsy store, so we're going to go ahead and say, all right, let's do turquoise as this example. And then finally, we just have to map the data. So for the title, I'm going to put the title in my CSV column. Description, same thing. Price, same thing. And the last thing you have to pick is the shipping profile. Now, if you are selling on Etsy, you can either do one of two things. You can create a shipping profile inside of Etsy and put that in this box. So write the exact name of the shipping profile. You can put that in your CSV or what I prefer to do is just keep it blank. If you keep it blank, there's going to be a new shipping profile that shows up for the print provider that you have selected at the very top here. So keeping it blank is basically the best option here for the shipping profile if you don't have anything set up. So everything looks good here. We're going to go to the uploader and this is really easy. Select Printify. You can look, make sure that yes, you did select the right items here and we will click on start uploading. It's gonna go through the process. I'll give it just a few here and I will show you it live on the Printify store. All right, you see that it has been uploaded here. So I am going to bring over the Printify store. We'll just refresh this page and you will see right at the top, this is exactly what we just uploaded. The main mock-up image here is the turquoise color we picked and it's published in your Etsy store. Now, if I bring over my Etsy shop here that I use for testing, you're going to notice right here, it's picked the price. Actually, let me go ahead and refresh this page. There we go, there is the new design. So that is in the turquoise color. It is pick the price and if we click on it here, we'll see that this is the primary mock-up image that's been pushed to Etsy. It's put in our title, it's put in our description and everything is filled out. Now one thing to keep in mind, actually two things, is you will need to come into Etsy and set up your production partners. In this case, you will wanna set up a Printify production partner as well as setting up your tags in here, which are right here. Printify unfortunately does not offer that, pushing tags to Etsy. So you'll wanna make sure that before you click live that, it, that you fill out the tags. Now, the software, the single upload interface is going to publish in draft mode on Etsy. This is important because it's not going to charge you anything until you go into Etsy and you click live so you can go ahead and start uploading all of this stuff via Printify to any of the integrations that they offer. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below, like this video and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.